Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you all have a fantastic day. I know I am. It's my son's birthday tomorrow, so I'm very excited about that. I've just went out and got him a couple of presents and everything, so uh, yeah, he will be a very happy child tomorrow, which I'm very, very happy about. And also, the sun's shining, and I just hope that all of you guys have had a fantastic week so far. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, uh, we're actually going to be talking about one huge, major change that has come to Fortnite Battle Royale that will actually be sticking and changing the game quite a bit, in my opinion, and uh, also about some new skins that could possibly be coming uh, in the near future, which will be really, really awesome, especially for those of you who like football, yes, or if you guys are from America or somewhere like that, uh, soccer, you know, so uh, yeah, very exciting stuff indeed, stay tuned throughout the whole video as it does have some very important information that you're going to want to know, you know, you obviously, you want to know all of the latest information guys, and that is why you should subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications right now, and also, leave a like in the video if you do end up enjoying this, maybe 400 likes, that would be awesome, and it would make my day even better, so yeah, thank you, uh, but anyway, like I said, yes, a major huge change has come to Fortnite Battle Royale, and a lot of people are very confused about why it actually has come. Uh, so basically, if you haven't already logged on to Fortnite today, you will obviously see when you do log in something that resembles the screen that you see right now. And as you can see there in the bottom side of the kind of screen or the bottom middle of the screen, it says here week five challenges. Week five challenges will be available on the 5th uh, or the 31st of the 5th at 4 a.m. ET. 8 a.m. GMT, so uh, Eastern Time and obviously um, gr Greenwich Minutes Time. I, I, I can't remember what the GMT means anyway, but still, you know, that means British Time anyway. So it looks like they've actually been pushed back now to Thursday, if I am correct. I mean, yeah, that would be Thursday, wouldn't it? Let me just do a little double check. Yes, so Thursday is actually the day when we will get our challenges for week five, which is very weird because like literally they've pushed it back by th pretty much two or three days there. And uh, if we just kind of take a look at the tweet on screen right now, you will see here that says, known issue, week five challenges available in zero seconds. Week five challenges will be available on the 5th, 31st at 4 a.m. ET and 8 a.m. GMT. This was an intended change to push back weekly challenges to Thursdays. So yeah, very weird indeed. Looks like that this is actually going to be the norm from now on. It looks like we're no longer going to be getting any sort of updates on Tuesdays. It will in fact now be Thursdays for the remainder of the foreseeable future for Fortnite Battle Royale. And a lot of people are very confused about why has this actually happened? Like, why have they done this? I, I don't really know. Uh, but basically what I can think is that, you know, when you actually start the, re the weekend and everything, or the week, uh, I guess like, you know, having to get out a lot of stuff such as new challenges and updates and everything on Tuesday could be very... It could be a lot of pressure on the actual people who work at Epic Games. And I'm thinking that maybe they've actually pushed this back to Thursdays so that they can have more time to kind of, you know, implement these changes, make sure that each update is as safe as it can be, and, you know, there is no problems, no bugs, none of that. Um, and, yeah, I think that's pretty much the only logical explanation I can see for this. But also, a lot of people have also noted that if you go into the challenges themselves, you will notice that the blockbuster challenges, it still says that they're seven weeks away, but a lot of people actually was very quick to say that the blockbuster skin will now be released, the exact day that it's out, will be when the FIFA World Cup actually starts. Yes, that is right. So the FIFA World Cup will start exactly on the day that you're able to unlock the Blockbuster once you've completed seven weeks of challenges. Now, a lot of people have been saying, you know, that this is somehow connected. Personally, for me, I don't really think it is, but I then had an actual kind of realization that, you know, once this actually gets released, uh, there will most likely be a um, World Cup kind of uh, skins. So for example, you know, you guys saw that when it was the Winter Olympics, they released those kind of uh, those kind of outfits that were the ski masks and the ski boots and everything. Well, it looks like we may actually be getting FIFA World Cup skins in Fortnite Battle Royale. And that's what I said, you know, if you are a soccer fan or a football fan, depending on how you uh, actually call a game itself, uh, you will love this. You will absolutely love this. Now, it does seem logical that, you know, it, they will actually do skins for this. I mean, honestly, I really do think that they will do skins for this. A lot of people think that the Blockbuster skin itself will be a World Cup skin. Personally, for me, I don't think that at all. I have my own theory about what the Blockbuster skin can be, and it is so far-fetched. 
I doubt that anybody will really like it. It's actually got something to do with Gears of War. If you want to see me do a separate video on that, on what I think the uh, the actual like blockbuster skin is going to be, feel free to comment down below, and I will make that video for you guys. Because like I know that you guys like speculation videos. You know, you like talking about this, that, and the other, and uh, I like doing that too. You know, I like your guys' opinions. I like when people either argue against mine or kind of go with them. You know, it's YouTube. You know, we we're here to have our own opinions and our own say. So yeah. Uh, but honestly, yeah, I do think that it is going to be uh, some sort of football skins that are going to Fortnite Battle Royale within the 14th of June, I believe. So yeah, the 14th of June, there will most likely be football skins or soccer skins added to this game. So uh, yeah, if you're excited about that, comment down below too. I mean, you know, if you actually do watch the World Cup or anything like that, tell me what your favorite team is. Personally for me, I know I'm from England, uh, but England suck. I'll be honest with you guys, they suck so bad. Um, I'm rooting for like Holland or something this year. Like Holland are always on top of their game with how they play football. So Holland or maybe, maybe even Germany, maybe even Germany this year. Yeah, I'd have to see the lineup of like, who exactly is playing and everything like that. But yeah, Germany or Holland are normally my kind of go-to guys. Uh, but anyway, sorry for kind of droning on. You guys know that I just kind of like talking and everything. But uh, yeah, please tell me what you feel like in the comment section below about these big changes coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. Obviously now, now that the uh, weekly challengers are out on Thursday, this is gonna have a little bit of an impact on YouTubers themselves because they're not actually going to be able to do videos throughout the week. Instead now, they're gonna have to grind out on the weekend, which is very, very difficult, especially for some people like myself who has a son, who has a lot of things to do. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really too sure how I feel about that, but still, you know, it's whatever. I know for a fact that it's something to do with uh, Epic themselves, you know, so if it kind of takes the workload off them, then I'm okay with it. You know, if it makes the game better, then I'm okay. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is actually leave the gameplay going on in the background. Enjoy it if you do decide to keep on watching. Uh, but if not, feel free to click away. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but for those of you who do, thank you very much. You understand why I'm saying thank you. So yeah, you guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, but anyway, guys, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.